because we are going to nip yourself in the bud today, okay? We're gonna nip yourself in the bud. We're gonna nip you in the bud today, okay? Because it needs to happen. It needs to freaking happen, okay? Um, the biggest thing that you guys has really helped me to catapult my business to the top and that has really helped me to get to black status level one that has helped me to, you know, because in order to get to black status level one, you have to get your team, your team, is, your, your team has to get you to black status level one. Okay. And so in order for like one of the biggest obstacles that I have faced in my business, you guys, oh my God, I love you, Evelyn. You're so cute. Hi, Jessica. Um, the biggest thing that has, that has really stood in my way and that has stood in Kaya. Don't be okay. Well, don't don't be coming in here crying, okay? Because mommy's doing a video for for a bunch of cool girls, okay? Just go out there and handle it with your sister. Go talk it out. Go talk. Go talk it out. Okay, you got it. Can you open the door? No, don't don't lock it. Hang on one second. Okay, go ahead. Go talk it out. Hey, listen. No fighting. We talk. We talk it out. You got me. Cool. Okay. We'll see if that works. <laughs> Okay, so the biggest thing, you guys, that I would say is that, you know, that whole, because listen, you guys, life happens, right? Like, I'm like the epitome of life happens right now, okay? Like, life freaking happens. One day, everything's fine. Like, the my house is like, you know, rainbows and unicorns. You know, I'm still getting divorced, but, you know, maybe one day, like, my husband wakes up and he's super angry. He decides that he hates me that day, and he decides that he wants to treat me like crap all day long because we're getting divorced, you know what I mean? But I still have to live here because I don't necessarily have somewhere else to go. The self-doubt starts to creep. In. And it's funny because I was just, you know, maybe this is the perfect thing for me to talk about because, you know, I was just talking to a bunch of my leaders on my team and so many things happen to us in life, you guys, and we allow them to stop us instead of allowing them to be our fuel. And, you know, I am, I think that I'm a prime example of that right now is because, you know, you guys might not be seeing me live on my personal page because I am seriously pouring so much into my team so that we can hit black status level one again so that next month we can go black status level two. And so you guys, you know, when things are not going your way in your life, when things are not going your way, when, when, you know, when you've got a bad environment that you're in, or when somebody's just not treating you right, or when something just randomly happens to you out of the blue, you cannot let your self doubt creep in. Instead, you have to be stronger than your self doubt. You have to be stronger than the negative things that are going your way. You have to be stronger than that. So every single day, something happens to me. Something happens to me. Okay. Every single day. So I wake up, you know, and I don't know whether today is going to be a great day or if it's going to be, you know, whatever. I don't know. I have no idea how the day is going to go, but every day I have somebody somewhere telling me that, you know, I'm this or I'm that, or I'm not this or I'm not that, you know? And so, you know, I've allowed that to kind of get drilled into my mind and I've been experiencing self-doubt a lot lately, but I've also been reading a really great book and I'm going to swear for a second because there's a swear word in the book, but it's called Unfuck Yourself. And I really, really, really encourage every single person on this video to go get that book and to read it every single day because it has literally changed my life. It has changed my life, you guys, okay? And so what I need for you guys to know is that when other people are drilling negative things into your mind, you know, when other people are telling you that you can't or that you won't, or that you're, you know, that you're not good enough or whatever, when they're trying to drill that into you, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Okay. Whenever anybody that like any of your, you know, people that follow you on Facebook or anybody that's nasty to you on your live videos or anything like that, whenever somebody says something to you that, that is trying to bring you down, it's because they don't feel good about themselves and they're trying to hurt you because they just feel un insufficient, which is fine. Okay. And so I want you guys to know that there's always going to be self doubt. There are going to be days where you feel like, Oh my God, the sales aren't there. You know, Oh my gosh, like this is just not happening for me. And nobody's joining my team. Nothing is going right. I was on track for my promotion, but I'm not on track for my promotion anymore. I don't know what's going on. There's going to be days where you just want to throw in the towel and you think to yourself, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe it's not working out. Maybe things are just never going to go the way that you want them to. And that is self doubt. And you have to be stronger than your self doubt. You have to be stronger than those negative thoughts that you are thinking about yourself. You've got to put a stop to that self-doubt and you've got to put a stop to those things that are going through your brain. And instead you've got to like, whenever I say something negative like that to my, like in my leader chat or something, they always send me, um, 
they always send me this gif of this news reporter outside and she <laughs> she's standing there and she's like reporting in a hurricane all of a sudden a stop sign comes and whales her in the face and knocks her out okay and so that is like the number one thing you guys that you have to remember is that you are in control of your destiny you are in control of your thoughts you are in control of how your day goes you are in control of how your business goes every single month you are in control okay so if you're having a bad day or if the sales aren't where you want them to be or if people aren't joining your team enough you You've got to say, you know what? I'm in control. I am in control. I control my destiny. I control my business. I control how my day goes. I control how many sales I get. I control how many people are joining my team. I control that. No one else controls that but you. Not the person who's telling you you can't. They don't control that. You control that. Not the people that aren't joining your team. They don't control that. You control that. If somebody's not joining your team, guess what? You need to go reach out to 50 more people. Okay. If you're not getting sales, guess what? You need to go book five more parties and you need to go message 20 previous customers. Okay. You are always in control of your destiny. Okay. And if you're constantly focused on what's not happening and instead being, you know, focused on what is happening, even if you're only selling $5 a day within your team, that's happening. Sales are happening. You guys, you know, even if, you know, nobody's joined your team in a week, if somebody joined your team a week ago, somebody joined your team, it's happening. It is happening, okay? And so you need to focus on being grateful. You need to focus on the things that are happening instead of what is going wrong. You need to focus on what is going right in your life because things are always going right. But whenever we focus on the negative, whenever we focus on our self-doubt, the things that we don't believe that we can do, whenever we focus on the things that we think are not happening, you guys, that is what we tend to see all around us, all around us. Our mind tends to put on blinders to the great things that are going on around us when all we're thinking about is the negative. No No one's joining. No one's selling. I can't book parties. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing that. You have to turn your nobodies into everybody's. You have to turn your nobodies into everybody's. You've got to lie to yourself until your reality becomes that lie that you've been telling yourself. You've got to stop doubting yourself because you have so much greatness within you every single day. You were born a winner. You were born to win. You were put on this earth to succeed. Do you understand me? You were put on this earth for a purpose. You were put within unique for a purpose. And so many people walk away from that purpose because they don't make that money right away. Listen to me right now when I tell you it is not about the money. This business is not about the money, you guys. This business is about changing people's lives. How many lives can you change? How many lives can you impact in one day? What can you do to utilize this platform that you have with this business to change people's lives? You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything. What? 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 No, baby. You have to go out there with Sissy, okay? Okay, but mommy can't, mommy can't fill that out right now, okay? Just wait a second, okay? Um, you guys have to understand, okay, that whatever you tell yourself is exactly what you're going to see. Whatever you tell yourself is exactly what you're going to see, okay? So if your sales are slow right now, if you don't have very many people joining your team, if you're not where you want to be, you got to get mad, You got to get mad. You can't get sad. You got to get mad and you got to get grateful that you even made it to this day in the first place. Okay. You've got to get grateful that you are here. You've got to get grateful that you are on a team that gives you everything that you need. You've got to get grateful. You guys that you have every resource and every tool that you need. You've got to get grateful that you are in this moment in this very time right here, right now. You've got to get grateful for that. Okay. You've got to get gratitude because you know what? Science is proven scientifically proven that grateful people are the most successful. Grateful people are the most successful, you guys. Okay. So if you're not where you want to be, you've got to figure out what action needs to be taken to get you where you want to be. You've got to figure out what you need to do differently to get you where you want to be. You've got to figure out what you can do to make the things happen that you need to happen. Okay. And you've also got to start telling yourself over and over and over again that you can do anything, that you are worthy, that you are capable, that you know exactly what you're doing, exactly what you're doing. You guys, I had a girl on my team message me yesterday. She was really, really upset because because she had one of one of her girls that she had apparently been talking to join someone else's team. And she's had that happen before, you know? And so I keep trying to tell her, listen, girlfriend, you need to recognize, you need to utilize or recognize the fact that maybe there's something that you could be doing a little bit differently to make this stop happening, okay? And she was so upset. She was so upset that, you know, this girl had joined someone else's team. And I said, listen to me, sister, you've got to understand. You've got to understand that the more that you focus on how everyone is joining 
joining someone else's team except for yours, that is what you're going to keep getting because your blinders are on to all the people around you that want to join your team because you're so zeroed in on the people that are not joining your team and joining other people's teams. That is what's happening with her. And so if you are telling yourself every day, you're moping around, you guys are super upset that your sales are not where they want to be, that you can't figure out what to sell or how to sell it or how to get people on your team or how to get to the next level or how to hit your promotion. Stop saying that you can't figure it out or that you're stuck. Stop saying all those negative things to yourself because you have to understand that you are not stuck. You are only as stuck as you tell yourself that you are. You are only as incapable as you tell yourself that you are. You know what to do. You know how to get past it. All you have to do is start believing in yourself using repetition every single day. When I went black status level one last month, you guys, there were so many days where I doubted it. So many days where I doubted it. You guys, there were so many days where I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I was looking at the numbers and they weren't moving as fast as I wanted to. And there were so many days where I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this isn't it. But then I remembered, I remembered my own, my own message. I remembered my own story. I remembered that when I went purple status, I double promoted for, I sat at green status, you guys, for 10 months I sat at green status. I don't know if you guys know my story or watch my, or were in my class at convention, but I sat at green status, you guys, for 10 months. 10 months. I hit green in eight months and then I sat at green for eight or for 10 months. Okay. I literally set my goal every single month for orange and purple, orange and purple every single month because I needed to get away from green. I was so focused on running away from green. I didn't want to be green anymore. I knew I was, I knew that I was destined to be higher than green. Okay. But I just couldn't figure it out. But you know what I kept telling myself every single day? Do you know what I kept telling myself every single day? I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why can't I make this happen? Why is it my team working? Why can't I build leaders? I just can't build leaders. I don't know how to do it. I kept saying all these things out loud to other people. I kept saying all those things out loud every single day, you guys. And do you know what? I created my own reality by saying those things every single day out loud because I was, that's all I was focusing on. But you know what? As soon as I went to convention, as soon as I went to convention in August, as soon as I got there, I learned that your mindset is everything in your business. Your mindset is everything. You can literally move mountains if you see it happening. Whatever you see, think, and feel is your reality, okay? Whatever you see, think, and feel, you become, okay? And so I decided on September 1st, the month after convention, that I was done being stuck. I was done sitting in my negative mindset. I was done focusing on the lack of sales or the lack of leaders being built. I was done focusing on that. Instead, I was going to change my focus to what was happening and where I was going because that is what I wanted to do. I made that decision. I woke up one day and I decided, I woke up on September 1st and I decided this is my month. I don't care what happens. I don't care what curveballs come way. I don't care what specials are happening. I don't even care about the kudos. I don't care what is happening. I am going purple status this month. I'm ditching green and I'm going purple status this month. So every single day I woke up and I said to myself all day long before I went to bed, when I was in the shower, I'm scrubbing my hair, I'm scrubbing my armpits, I'm doing all this stuff, you guys. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself every day, I'm picturing it in my mind. We will finish this month as a purple status team. I will have two frontline elites by the end of this month and we will finish this month as a purple status team. I said it over and over again. I was like putting my makeup on and it was like on repeat, like a song in my mind. And that is all I focused on. I stopped focusing on being stuck. I stopped focusing on all the negative things that were happening. I stopped focusing on all of that, you guys. And I started to focus on where I wanted to go and what great was happening in my life. And guess what happened? I had no elites tracking for green. Okay. My, my company sales were not there, but at the end of the month, we pulled out all the stops. We took the action. Our thoughts, my thoughts became my reality and we double promoted from green to purple status because I decided that I was going to make it happen. I decided that I was going to lock arms with my team and that we were going to do everything in our power to make it happen. I breathed belief into my two greens that had no idea that they were capable of going green. They every single day, all month long, oh, I don't think I can do it, Amanda. I don't want to let you down. I don't think you can do it. I said, stop it. Stop right now. You can do it and you will do it. And at the end of this month, I need you to picture yourself as a green elite status presenter. Every single day, I breathed that belief in them like fire. I breathed it into their soul because you know what? When people don't believe in themselves, they need you to believe in them for them. You have to believe in others before they believe in themselves. That is the secret sauce to this business, you guys. Believing in others when they don't believe in themselves. 
breathing that belief, okay? And so the next month, guess what happened? We didn't qualify as purple status. We qualified as orange status. I had one elite that qualified as green in um, October. And so you know what? Guess what? Guess why that happened? Guess why that happened? My mindset, my mindset. I told myself, well, what if I don't compare? What if I don't, what if I don't, um, what if I don't requalify? I was so focused on the what if I don'ts instead of focusing on the what if I do's, okay? Stop focusing on the what if you don'ts and start focusing on the what if you do's, okay? What if you do? Well, what if I fail? What if you fly? What if nothing goes my way? What if the kudos sucks? What if there's no specials? What if they take away the 10% off collections? What if... What if all of the concealers are in back order? What if all, some of the foundations are in back order? What if? Well, guess what? That's our reality right now. So what do you got to do to make it happen? What do you got to do to make it happen? What do you got to do to decide that your dreams are enough? What do you got to do to decide that you're going to make things happen no matter what? What do you got to do to make sure that you're going to do whatever it takes to pull out all the stops? If the concealer's on back order, guess what? You use that sense of urgency and you say, hey, these concealers are on back order. They're on the verge of selling out. You guys need to order them before they're gone. Urgency, okay? Guess what? Those collections are selling so fast that it made our concealers go on back order and they're about to sell out. So you go out there and you change your, well, it's, it, I'm upset and I can't make it work because the concealers are on back order. The collections aren't 10% off anymore. The collections are crazy deals, you guys. You change your mindset and you focus on what is there, not what's not there. You focus on what is there. What options do you have? That is what you focus on. So fast forward to November after I finished October as orange status, you guys. Fast forward to November, I said, screw this. I'm not staying purple and I'm not staying orange. I'm going black. And so I woke up on November 1st and I'm, and I'm not saying, you guys, to stop working your business right now and to wake up on April 1st and decide that you're gonna do something different. It is the middle of the month right now. You need to decide right now. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what your numbers are saying because numbers lie. I told myself every day, numbers lie. Whenever I was going for a promotion, numbers lie. Numbers lie, numbers lie numbers lie okay they don't have your best interest at heart they're trying to fool you the numbers when they're wrong is the devil on your shoulder trying to tr trying to trick you and trying to change your mindset it's a test okay do not do not let that win numbers lie they are not reality they are not your reality okay you guys so I told myself every single day, every single day in November, okay, that I was going to finish that month as a black status presenter. I had nothing showing me that I was going to. I had one elite, just one. I didn't have any elites tracking. One of my elites was gone, freaking in the witness protection program, okay? She wouldn't even speak to me. I hadn't talked to her in three months, okay? And I told myself, you know, I don't care. I don't freaking care. I don't care what the signs are showing me. I don't care what the numbers are saying. I don't care if there's no specials. I don't care what's going on. I don't care. I convinced myself that I would have four frontline elites by the end of the month and I would finish the month as a black status presenter. And guess what happened? We took the action. I decided I didn't let any negativity creep into my mind. I didn't let any doubt creep into my mind. And when it did, guess what I did? It's so awkward. I would shake it out. I'd be like, no. And I would say it out loud. I'd be like, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And I would shake it out. You guys, I sound like a psycho sometimes when I do that, but I don't care because it works. You have got to start believing in yourself. You've got to, because the reality is People are not going to believe in you, especially if you're first starting out your business. People are going to expect you to fail every single day. When you show up, people are going to be thinking to themselves, gosh, I wonder when she's going to quit. I wonder when she's going to fall on her face. I wonder when she's going to quit. I wonder when she's going to quit. So you have got to show up every day with that smile on your face, with that high ass energy, and you've got to go crazy. You've got to go freaking crazy. You've got to believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, believe in the people on your team, believe that anything is possible. Okay. One of my elites on the last day of the month was $5,000 away. I breathed belief in her when every single minute she was like, Amanda, I don't want to let you down. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I said, stop. Stop it right now. It's going to happen. Your flash sale is going to be amazing. It is going to sell thousands upon thousands of dollars. Everything is going to work out exactly how it is supposed to. And it is going to be incredible. And you know what? I told her to just sit down. Same thing. It's the same girl. She just She's doing a team party today. Tonight. And she goes, Amanda, tell me that my team party is going to be amazing. Tell me that it's going to be amazing. I'm so scared. What if it doesn't work out? What if they don't? What if the people don't show up? And I said... I said, Sonia, I said, listen, I said, I want you to first of all, stop saying, what if, what if they don't show up? What if this, what if that? I said, I want you to sit down and I want you to close your eyes. 
because literally you guys, when I sit down and I close my eyes and I picture the things that I want and I picture them happening and it brings a smile to my face or even if it brings tears to my eyes, I know I'm doing the right thing. Okay. So I said, Sonia, sit down. I said, close your eyes. I said, you need to sit there and picture yourself floating through the motions of your team party. Picture yourself floating through the motions of that team party. And at the end of it, picture yourself, picture all of the videos, picture yourself watching all the videos and all of the people commenting and going crazy and just having so much fun. Picture the order confirmation emails going. Picture your company sales going up and up and up and up. Picture all of those amazing things happening. Picture the exact moment of you at the end celebrating and crying because you and your team pulled out all of the stops and you had the most successful team party ever in the history of team parties. Picture that. Picture that happening. And then I want you to open your eyes and I want you to never say, what if they don't come again? I want you to never say, what if they don't come? I want you to say, what if I can't handle all the volume that is coming my team's way? What if I pass out from a freaking heart attack because my team sales are going to jump so high? What if that? What if that? That's what I want you to say. Instead of doubting yourself, instead of doubting what you're capable of, instead of doubting what's going to happen, believe. Breathe belief into yourself. Breathe that belief into your team. In, in July, when you wake up in July and everybody thinks that it's going to be a slow month, I tell my team... You guys, July is the biggest month of the year. It's going to be crazy. I breathe that belief and I lie to them. I lie to them. Okay. I tell my teams that the slowest months are the best months. Okay. I don't even tell them. Everyone's like, oh, the J months. Here we go. The J months. I don't even tell them that. My team doesn't know anything about the J months. Okay. My team thinks that the J months are the bomb. Okay. That's what my team thinks. And we always have our best months ever in those J months. Okay, you guys, no, 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 Kai, you're going to fall, baby. So I'm telling you guys right now, breathe that belief, breathe the belief into you, breathe in the belief, okay, and exhale the doubt, breathe in the belief and exhale the doubt, you guys, because you were put here for a reason. You ended up on this, this video for a reason. You ended up here in this very moment for a reason. I did this video because I needed to say these things to myself out loud. That is why, because everything that you go through happens for a reason. Everywhere that you end up, you end up there for a reason. Everything everything. If you're in a rut right now, this rut is meant for a reason so that you can dig yourself out and come out stronger than ever, like a freaking fiery yeah, phoenix, okay? That is why you are in that rut right now, but you have to decide. You have yeah, to make the, <laughs> Kai's like, yeah, mom. You have to make that decision, yeah, you guys, that yeah, you are going to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes. I want you guys to go download that. I want you guys to download that song, Whatever It Takes by Imagine Dragons, and I want you to listen to it on repeat because you you are capable. You are worthy. You know exactly what you're doing. You know how to sell. You know how to change your mindset. You know how to get people on your team. You know what to do. You are the one. You are a winner. You are here to win. You are here to breathe belief in people and help them believe in themselves when they don't believe in themselves. That's what you're here for. You're here to change the world. You're here to change your family's life. You're here to make success happen. That's why you're here. You're here to make a difference. You're here to make an impact. That's why you're here. So you need to keep going. Don't you dare fall down. Don't you dare fall down. And guess what? If you do fall down, you fall on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. You got me, you guys? You fall on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Every time. Every single time your trials and the days that you just can't or the days that you just don't want to. Those are the days that you need to. Those are the days that are going to make you stronger. Those are the days that are going to make you the best version of you. Those are the days that you're going to be able to tell people about that one day that you yeah. fell that one day that yeah. you fell down that you felt like you couldn't get back up, but you did. That's going to be the best story of your life. That's going to be the story that changes people's lives. That story, the stuff that I'm going through right now. The stuff that I'm going through right now, this is going to be great for me later. It's going to suck right now, but it's going to be freaking amazing for me later because I'm going to be able to tell people my story. I'm going to be able to tell people that are going through what I'm going through right now that they can go through it too and that they will come out a better person, that they will come out stronger, that they will come out bigger and better and bolder and more freaking fierce than ever. That's why I'm going through what I'm going through so that I can make an impact on the world and I can help other people that are going through what I'm going through. That's why. Okay, so you guys, 
wake up. Oh my God, why am I getting emotional? Wake up every day and breathe belief into yourself every single day because you deserve the world. You deserve to shine. You deserve to have success. I don't even know you guys, but I love you. You deserve to have everything that you have ever dreamed of in your whole life. You deserve that. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to shine. And you deserve to help other people feel the same way. You deserve that. So stop thinking so negatively about yourself. Stop being so mean to yourself. Decide that you are going to do what it takes to be successful. Make that decision today because today is your day. Today is the day that you literally change everything. Make the decision that today is your day and that it doesn't stop until you win. It's not over until you win and you don't stop until you are proud. Mwah. I love you makeup moguls. Have the best day ever and finish this month so strong. Sorry, I cried. <laughs> I love you guys.